morning folks well it's another weekend adventure here um, it is November 20th so we're getting a little late in the in the in November here and the prime rut the, there are those that say that November 20th is the second best day of the rut Ooh, we'll see um, it's been rough as you, if you've been following along, uh, you know it's been rough so far this season. If you haven't been following along and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's just been it's been a rough season. Uh, I've seen some deer um, during the archery season, just no shot or not shooters. The, uh, so it's been a little frustrating. Um, and then I got out for the gun opener last weekend and didn't see a thing. Um, the fact that well, last weekend was the Veterans Day weekend and I, I had Veterans Day off and then I had like a half day on Friday type of thing. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, it was just, I was out there a whole bunch and nothing. But... You just gotta keep getting out here, you know. Sometimes it gets tough though. Last night I was having a hard time with they really want to get up at you know, four thirty in the morning and come out of here and especially with the way things have been going. And uh, but this is my last weekend um, to hunt for almost a month. No, not quite. Not quite. Um, the season here in, in Virginia goes all the way through to uh, um, I guess it's this January 1st yeah because I think the first is a Saturday but um I'm going up next so next weekend is Thanksgiving um and Friday I'm getting up and driving up to Pennsylvania to my dad's place and I'm going to spend uh, that first week of the the rifle season in Pennsylvania with um hunting with my dad up there you know, on the on the on the family property up there so that should be pretty good and I can nice thing is I can shoot bucks or does I can only shoot one buck and I've got three doe tags in Pennsylvania so um, that'll be nice the problem here in Virginia you know when they open the gun season you can only shoot bucks and then they have two or three days I can never remember you know, the dates but uh, I think it's two um, two Saturdays in December that you can shoot buck or doe they call them doe days so which is a little bit frustrating you know because it ends up like last year was my first season here and the only thing I saw during the gun season was uh, does <laughs> on non-doe days in range so that's usually how it goes <laughs> but at any rate um, could be good to get out you know and it is cold it's 20 seven degrees is what the weather app says my truck says it's 26 degrees so it's pretty chilly um maybe that'll get them up and moving we've had some weird weather this week we've been up and down there anywhere from the highs in the 50s to highs in the 70s so but today's definitely been the coldest day we've had yet this season so we'll see how things go but uh we'll see you out there in the woods got a little bit of time here and uh and get all moving I can't win. I can't. I just can't win. I don't know why I got him on camera. Because, uh, yeah. 
That's the guy I saw the other night. <laughs> 50 yards. the yards. Did the rights. He's big. Yeah, still blowing. Right there. Perfect shot. It was quartering a little too. That was a perfect shot. It's only 7.30. Maybe he'll come back. I knew he was in here. I knew he was in here. He just walked right in front of me. Just walked right in front of me. And he is big. Big. See what happens. Well, I think I've uh, calmed down a little bit. I'm just so frustrated. I've been getting my butt kicked, like I was saying earlier. And I finally put the pieces together. I knew that I knew there was a big buck in this general area because I'd seen him driving out that one night. And. Um, I've been trying to locate them. I tried a couple of different spots. And just wasn't finding really the sign that I thought I would find. I wasn't seeing them obviously. And then this morning, I got here early. And then I was like, you know what? In this particular spot, I'd never been in here before. I'm really cold this morning. I was, and I'm ground hunting. I was like, let's just wait until shooting light, you know, legal shooting light and just still hunt real slow, take my time, work back in here. And there's this old two track that leads back into this area. And sure enough, I see just a big rub line going down this two track and pretty recently used rubs or made rubs. No scrapes along there, but there's a lot of pine not a lot of like overhanging little branches that you'd find scrapes under. And a couple spots I thought might be trails, but then as I got a little deeper in towards where I wanted to go, like this little spot, like I'm in, I'm kind of in a saddle, and then it goes down to this creek bed. I want to get up in this saddle, thinking this would be a good spot coming off that two track. Um, and then going down into this big area here, where this creek bed is. I just, I mean, just doing my map study stuff, I just thought that, you know, this would be a, this area right here would be a pretty good little spot to set up. And so, but I found a trail going back into the, the end of this spot. I was like, well, that's a good sign. And I get in here not far, and um, it starts to open up a little bit. It's pretty thick, but it starts to open up a little bit, and I, I find more rubs. And then I find what looks like a really old two track. I mean, it's all overgrown, but it opens up, and there's, you can see deer trails in here. And a couple different ones crisscrossing. And I was like, well, I'll set up in here. Found a little good little spot. I don't have the best shooting lanes in the world, but I have a couple good shooting lanes. And I was like, I bet you they're walking in, crisscrossing through in here somehow. At least this, I mean, first time in here, I figured I'd check it out, right? And uh, sure enough, it doesn't take long. I wasn't here very long. I barely had set up, and I wasn't. I hadn't, didn't have the camera set the way I wanted to. And I saw a movement, and I, I just saw the back end of a deer. It was dark and big, and then I caught the glimpse of the antlers. So I kind of moved to get a better look because he was going down, you know, like across in front of me, low. I get to see the top part of the of the deer, and uh, but then I saw him. He was he had gone down in this little dip, and then he started coming right at me. I was like, oh, so I kind of got back down low, 
and I couldn't, there's all this, these trees, these little holly trees right here in front where I had the camera, you know, and, uh, which would have been good for the way he had come from if I'd seen him in time, but he came up an angle, you know, from, um, from, from left, on my left, kind of on an angle towards right in front of me, and he just got right here, dead in front of me, I think it's like 50 yards, is what it, is what it looks like. Um, you know, I ranged it with a range finder afterwards, and I mean, it's right there, he was right around 50 yards, which, I mean, quarter and two, just a little bit. But, I mean, I had him in my crosshairs, dead to rights. Click. I just uh, can't believe it. I mean, it's not an old ammo. I'm using, I mean, I'm using a slug gun, because where I'm hunting, I can't use a rifle. I have, you know, my Mossberg slug gun, and I use Hornady SST 12 gauge slugs, and I've shot deer with it before, with, you know, with those rounds, and I mean, like I said, they're not old rounds. I don't know what happened. The primer's dented. I'm just, I'm just so beside myself. Finally, like, I'm like six weeks in, seven weeks in, like seven weeks into this season, and, and I've had a couple deer come around during the archery season. I just couldn't, I just couldn't get a shot on, or they weren't shooters. I had those three bucks that day before Halloween, Halloween weekend. Those were the first bucks I'd seen. Yeah, those does before that. It's just been, it's been rough. And to have that opportunity, a big, big, giant, you know, mature whitetail, and then have a misfire. All I can hope is, you know, I'll have either him or another one coming back through here. I think this would be a good place to put a stand up. Get up a little higher over some of this lower stuff here that's in my way. Open up some shooting lanes that way by getting up higher. I mean, it's, it is what it is. I don't know that I did anything wrong. I mean, I don't know what I could have done different to it. <laughs> but, a good area here. I knew this was gonna work out. I just had a feeling that I've been kind of narrowing it down to where I actually get some movement. And I did. I jumped a deer too. That's right, I forgot about that. I. Yeah, coming in, at least where I start first start walking into the tree line, I jump something down here. Maybe it could have been him, could have been a different deer, I don't know. But the way it goes. Well, it's uh, getting on in the morning. It's, about, it's almost 11, I think. But I'll get up and just kind of check this little area out here a little bit before I head back to the truck. I got, I can't hunt this afternoon. We've got a Thanksgiving get together thing we're doing with some friends. So I gotta get home for that. Um, but I, I think I definitely found his bedroom. This is a good little area I found. There's a couple more rubs I found and then I found this guy here. Older. It's an older rub, obviously, but uh, it's a big old tree that he, been, he was rubbing on at one point in time. Yeah, the stuff I found back here is a little, a little bit older. 
than what I saw this first thing this morning when I was walking in, but I mean, he's obviously using this area. And he was just wandering through here this morning. So, trying to get back out here another point in time. But I'm gonna wander around a little bit before I head back. See what I can find that's back in here. Still just so incredibly frustrated right now. But whatever, it is what it is. And so here's one of the spots on this two track. So there's this two track that runs right here. I'm back. Yeah, this is a pretty good little rub line that runs down along here. This is a this is one spot here that has a whole bunch all in one little group. So that's pretty pretty good sign. And it's it's not super old. In fact, they look like they might be you know they're within the last week. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But they're not super old. So he's walking this line. And then this two track goes all the way down to where my truck is. But there's a spot up here where it cuts down to the main road and crosses over. And I think that's where I saw him that night when I when I was coming out. And all of like 50 yards down the road, you've got this rub line, it's all tore up here. You got, heck, you can see this one right behind me. Right there. Yeah. So this whole thing, like, the whole way down, it's just tore up. Just tore up. Yeah. Here's that road I was talking about. So I'm walking, this is the trail I'm walking. And it goes back to my truck. And then there's this, it cuts down towards the main road. It cuts down towards the main road. Probably you can see a couple of rubs right here. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's where I saw him. This is, isn't, this is right by where I remember seeing him that night on the side of the road. So they're walking down here and going down there. So, yep, saw those tracks back there. <sighs> At least I found them. That's something. Took me a minute, a little bit of work to find them, but I found them. Now I just gotta get back in here and refind them. Be nice to come back in tonight. That's for sure. I'll get back out here this week, maybe, before Thanksgiving, and see if we can make it happen. Well, that's going to be our wrap for today. I'm uh, get home and get ready for the next thing. So, nothing else that happened after that, obviously. So, but it was pretty exciting to, you know, have some success and you know, putting in a little bit of work and finding, you know, figuring out where that guy was hiding out and found him. Just wish I could have made it, made it happen, but that's how it is. But uh, yeah, I'll be back out here for sure. Um, got a few more, I got a couple, well, I got maybe like one day I can get out before I head to Pennsylvania. You know, I come back from there. Um, I got the rest of December to hunt, so. Um, yeah. But that's about it, folks. So thanks for following along. Um, hopefully, you know, this weekend, you know, Chris will be able to get out and uh, him and Steph will be able to get some Thanksgiving weekend success out there in California. And then uh, I'll be up in Pennsylvania. But uh, stick around and uh, come back and see us again. Make sure you reach down, hit that subscribe button. And uh, make sure you, you know, if you like what you see, give us a like, leave a comment. Tell us how we're doing, whatever. It's like to hear from you. And we appreciate everybody that's following along. Keep coming back. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.